Hey guys, Westrick here taking a look at something very cool. Came across this at my dad's house. This is a World War II Japanese Type 99 bolt action rifle. Just something really cool to be able to see one of these. Seen a couple of them at the gun shows, but never really had time to make a video with one. And right here is a canteen. I guess my uh, dad's wife, her dad was at Guadalcanal and served in World War II. Don't know if this is from Guadalcanal. This is pretty cool. Little Japanese canteen. It's got some markings on there. I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what it says. But anyways, this is the Type 99 service rifle adopted by the Japanese in 1939. This was a, intended to be a replacement for the Type 38 Arisaka, which had been in service for a while. But uh, the two stayed in service throughout World War II. The Arisaka fired a relatively short 6.5 millimeter cartridge and the Type 99 fired a much more powerful 7.7 millimeter cartridge which was the uh, contemporary of the 30 odd 6 8 millimeter Mauser in that power range. But anyways, uh, this rifle is an interesting relic. As you can see it's been sporterized with this uh, I don't know if this is the original stock or not but it's definitely been cut down. It appears it might have the original military stock. This is a Mauser type action. As you can see it's got that Japanese plum shaped bolt handle. It has a unique Japanese style safety which is that knurled knob that you push in and you turn it to the right with the heel of your hand. Not too crazy about that. I'm not going to be messing with it also as this thing is a relic and it's a little bit stiff. It has the Mauser style bolt latch where you, to remove the bolt you have to pull that latch out. You have to move the little hinge. Just standard stuff. It's got some markings here. Not sure exactly what they mean. It's got the chrysanthemum right there. Looks like uh, it's just corroded. don't know if that was an attempt to grind it off or not. Moving along to the other side, right there, you got some stampings on the receiver, the serial number, and then it's got a sling swivel right there, again, not sure how much modification was done to this, but still very, very, very cool. And then the action itself is pretty neat, I mean, it's just your standard Mauser style action. Except this has the, the straight bolt, so I just pull it to the rear and that will eject the empty cartridge. On this rifle, the follower spring is a little bit loose, maybe. I don't know, I'm not really an expert on these rifles. So, yeah, so you have to push down the follower before you can send the bolt home and it's got a little bit of spring tension or something on there to where you have to really crank it forward and get it locked down so so I mean the trigger and stuff seems to work all right and then uh, like I said before it's got this rear knurled knob that you push in with your hand and twist and on the rear sight here with the ladder sight folded down, you've got like a little peep sight, which goes with the the post up front for, I guess, uh, close engagements. And then for longer distances, you flip the sight up, and then you have a little sliding ladder. Now, from what I've heard and seen on some documentaries, a lot of Type 99s would have an anti-aircraft sight with wings on either side which was supposed to give you lead for shooting at uh, airborne targets as far as how useful that would have been with a bolt action rifle I don't know but you know hey someone could have gotten lucky so very cool there with the, the sight let's go ahead and bring the camera back and we can show off the length of this rifle and this is just a nice view of the rifle from a, a little bit of a distance away it's a, a decently long, uh, long rifle. 
you know, especially considering how big your average Japanese soldier was. I'm a decent sized guy. I'm about six feet tall, so decent size. Bolt is smooth enough to work, and the peep sight is decent enough, I guess. You know, considering that I shoot left-handed, it's a straight bolt handle. You really gotta overcome some spring pressure to close that. I'm just showing how the bolt comes out, just like a standard Mauser. You have this little tab, and there you go, that's the bolt on this thing. On the parts that have been protected, it seems remarkably clean. I'm not going to try and do a, a field strip or anything like that. Maybe look in the internal there and see underneath the bolt where the metal's in reasonable condition. And then it just slides right back in. So a very, very cool piece of history. Uh, definitely got excited when I saw this hanging, well not hanging, basically sitting above the fireplace with this uh, canteen nearby. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.